What's up YouTube? Dirty Dave here. Dirty Dave TV back with another video on the Honda Grom and the Amazon $99 exhaust with more brap. This is the exhaust with the dual outlet. I did an install video uh, the other day on this uh, and as promised we're going to go do a sound check today. Alright, let's go for a ride. Sounds good, not super loud, not crazy obnoxious. It's got a nice rumble to it. I don't notice any power gain, obviously. Um, you know, this bike only has nine horsepower. If it maybe gives it an extra point one, I don't think my butt's gonna feel that. Doing 40 miles an hour. Yeah, it sounds good. But the noise does make me uh, feel a little more prominent on the road. I feel like I'm riding a big boy bike as opposed to cruising on a Singer sewing machine. So that's good. Let's come up this way. I'm full throttle. I definitely don't notice any increase in power, um, but the noise does make it feel a little more, like I said, substantial. So if you're getting this exhaust for a, uh, you know, a five horsepower gain, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're getting it to make it look better, save some weight, and to, uh, you know, free up the motor a little bit and to gain a little bit of noise, I think it's great. One thing I haven't done and what I probably should do and what you might want to do if you get an exhaust system is reflash the ECU. And that may be why I'm not really feeling any power gain. Uh, it does take, from what I understand, these ECUs or computers to uh, relearn the uh, different flow uh, now that there's less back pressure and whatnot so that might be part of the issue and I heard it takes about a hundred miles for the ECU to actually learn what I just did to it uh, and you can also reflash it uh, you can either send it out and there's other ways on YouTube that I've seen uh, with paper clips I don't recommend doing that but there are self uh, instruction on how to reflash your e ECU on YouTube so you might want to check that out uh, I'm just going to let it relearn itself I don't really want to mess with it too much yeah she's full throttle 43 miles an hour I'm 200 pounds so the most I ever got this thing to do was like 55 anyway, 65 downhill, strong tailwind. But I like the way it sounds. It definitely makes the bike more fun to ride. Like I said, I feel uh, like I'm riding a bigger bike. Wow, it's windy out today. I'll go to the school by my house. Set up the camera and do some uh, drive-bys. But being on the bike, it sounds great. I like it. I still kept my stock exhaust because you never know, you know, when you want to go to stealth mode, maybe do some exploring, you don't want to make a lot of noise, so I did keep the stock exhaust. Let's pop in the school real quick.
uh, we're going to head back. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you got a good idea of what this exhaust sounds like. The Amazon $99 BRAP exhaust. It's not really BRAP exhaust, I just called it that because I'm an idiot. Um, I will leave a link in the description for this exhaust. Uh, both the header and the muffler are both available on Amazon. If you guys like this video, please be sure to leave a like for me down at the bottom. If you are not subscribed currently, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And you guys have a great day. Thanks.